doing it, there is a penalty. You get more points off your total point total. So just remember, pick random, really easy, bottom of the screen. But we are off on this first race of this qualifier. And we are on this Metal Mario doing some great moves with that mushroom. We got TTA on the screen. Nice, nice. TTA with a little bit of the, uh, that's not the bitty buggy, is it? That's, uh, I forgot what that vehicle is called right now. But TTA, a little bit stuck on the off-road. Needs, uh, needs some items in order to help shoot through that. And Bay right now, unfortunately, also entering the off-road. Unfortunately, indeed. That's going to lose a lot of momentum. That would have been an insane green shell snipe, but that shy guy was in a and star. And a blue shell already on the field. Ooh. It's going after our mortal who does have the mushroom. Will he dodge in time? No, oh, and he does it. Dodges the blue shell with the mushroom. If you didn't know that, you can actually do that. Right when the blue shell turns down, you know, tilts down, you can dodge it with a mushroom. It's just one of those things. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you're used to it, like a mortal, he's a pro. Ooh. And you're seeing 13 being a pro boomerang thrower, going to be able to take out two different competitors, grab some triple shrooms, Jaguars now. Let's see if he's going to be able to catch up with pod number you know, three. Well, I feel bad for all those tires that just got hit. They're just sitting there, man, trying to live their life, and we're just hitting <laughs> them. As Jaguars gets hit by red, and then a shock happens, the Bullet Bills passing his competitors. Oh. And that's going to be Nas Fury in second. Let's that's see. my man. Oh, no. Where's he going? Don't stop. Mario Party can get in second place. The Mortal getting first, but does Nas get third? That he is. Third. That's oh, they, him. oh, no. They went all the way down to seventh place. What they should have done there was get hit by the red and then use the mushroom, and he would have actually been able to probably secure that third place finish. But, unfortunately, right when he got hit by the red, he used the mushroom, which caused it him happened. to lose his speed. It but happened. still, great work to be up in that top three placement. Absolutely. Like, I, I know, like, especially in my early days, that happened to me, too. I fire that off, and I get hit by something, and it just cancels that mushroom out. It happens to a lot it of does. us. It happens to me. It happens to him. It happens to even the best of us. So don't feel bad about it. Nah, just going in the next race, do even better as we're going to be seeing Super Bell Subway! <laughs> yes, this is mine. Thank you. Super Bell Subway attracted a lot of people for whatever reason. And it's unjustifiably hated on. I mean, it's just because it's so hectic, it's so claustrophobic, and the third lap is uh, an absolute disaster. But I third love to see it. Third lap, what are you talking about? Especially if you can go between the trains. I love that. That's what I love about it. You can go in between the trains. Oh. Soundtrack is amazing. It's fun to run. You can bag on it. It is just overall a, what? a great track. All right. I was, got to, I was about to go on stage and be like, ankles, you better not close the lobby. I was about to lose it. Well, uh, he's part two. I was hoping he wouldn't be able to close it, but... Um, yeah, as well, you were saying, he got Christian Rising. He's the winner of last week, too. I'm just saying. He should know what he's doing, but we're already off. 13's going to be able to grab that single light box. Fire Flower, let's see how he's going to be able to utilize this. Grabs it onto two different competitors. Bro, can we not be Ken from Tree Fire and just throwing all these fire Hadoukens? Hadouken. Right now, Phantom in. Whoa! Billy Boyd is triple greens. Throws a red forward. Hits the Wario's item, which was Dario, but it does not take him out. Has a single mushroom in hand. Beautiful loadout, too. This is actually a very, very great loadout. He's going to be able to grab that single item box. Immortal going to have a single, uh, a little bit of something, Ooh. but now has nothing because a shot comes down. You can see the scoreboard right there in the top right of the screen to see who exactly is leading the pack and who needs help catching up. There's still two more races after this one, so there's still plenty of action. Still plenty of time. Don't you worry about how you did on the first one. Now it just matters how you do on the rest of the tracks. Oh! Dario, got the draft, couldn't manage the drift, ran into the statue, and guess what? Immortal's going to get back. Doesn't even have to wait for the blue shell to hit him. Jaguar is now going to get hit by that blue shell. Has nothing to stop it with. And now Phantom's right behind him. It's going to oh. slam into the train. That's when you can go in between them. We could have had a highlight reel right there. No, it's unfortunate. Marvel, everyone's dying right now in this lap. What is going on? I told you, lap three is a disaster. Let's see who's going to get around it. Look at that placement. That's our Immortal. No, that's Jack Wars. Excuse me. Jackie Wars. Let's see. Immortal has a red. Does he have another? He's waiting. Goes through the no item shortcut. But unfortunately did not have the speed to take out Jackie Wars.
Good job, Immortal in second place, followed by Mario Party King in third, and I believe that's Ankles in fourth. Yeah, great work there. The consistent people who come here every week showing up in that Tom Ford placement, I just love to see it, but I would love to see even more or these underdogs to come out and really show what they got. Dario was doing fantastic, was. unfortunately. Had that really awkward draft there, but still, I have a lot of hope for him to come out here and uh, really bring it back. Only well, time will tell. We do have two more races left to go. We are going to go into race three very soon. What track do you want to see now that you got Super Ooh, Bell? You got to see Super Bell again. No, I'm just <laughs> but uh, I, I, would love, I would love to see a little bit of uh, Wave 2 action, some more. I love me some Shroom Ridge. I like I some Snowfall, Snowland. 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 Snowland is also a great track as well. See some penguins on the way out of this qualifier. But I want to see them Penguin Revenge. Penguin Revenge. <laughs> yes, all the Mario baby penguins that he has murdered. No no forgiveness here. You can do that in Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope, by the way. Really? You they can add throw it off the cliff, but they'll spawn back later on because you need them for a side mission. Oh, that's so funny. Actually, Mario Rabbit's apparently a super underrated game. People saying how phenomenal it is, but we're going to be going back to Yoshi Circuit. That's just one of the problems with Randomizer, the Nintendo Randomizer. It's not ideal, but still, Yoshi Circuit, I love running this track. I think it's really fun, and with that bullet bill extension that you can use through the waterfall, it is such an easy track to get first on. Absolutely, man. As I said, we already saw this track earlier tonight. We're going to see it once again. Is anyone going to be bagging? It looks like ankles, and one other player might be doing a little bit of bagging right now. Persian Rising here, gonna run into the off-road. Happens on that first turn, it's such a tight turn. Don't, don't, not even panic going into this next section. Going to the off-road one more time, but you still got it. We're gonna be going over to Dario, doing some coin running like we talked about. You want those 10 coins. You want that additional speed. They are not there just to unlock things. They are there to help your race go even better. And right now, Dario, again, has been doing well, staying at the top of the pack, but then I think he threw those greens a little too early next to each other because it looks like they destroyed themselves. Yeah, that's when you got to space those out. Item management. We talked about it. you got to be able to use your items one at a time and get the full maximum potential out of them. Oh, my part oh. King should have saw the triple red. Oh, my God. Everyone's dying to triple reds right now. Just one after another after another. And that's going to be Nas Fury here in sixth place. Going to throw up one drift, red. Man. you got to drift to stay on track. Yeah, he's got it. He's going. He's oh. running. Faye, on Triple bullet bills, man. I'd be terrified by that look. I would be, too. Ankles using that bullet extension like we talked about. Going through the fountain to drop themselves right behind the item box. Blue Shell is out, and that's going to be going towards Phantom. He's got nothing to stop that. Too late, too late, too late. Oh, I know he wanted to do the after you thing, but that was a little too late on his end. I think he was just trying to grab double items through that blue shell, but it could also have been an after you. Jaguar is going to be in a very vulnerable position right now as we see Ankles trailing right behind third place. Ankles has just been doing a phenomenal job. We didn't see too much of him within the Ooh. first race, but we saw him more catching up in these later races, especially when it comes to lap three. You can see these top four competitors are literally neck to neck. Ankles has got to be careful because now he got ready out, but then the boomerang hits. Immortal now in second, gonna throw the red forward, tosses the banana, the Hail Mary will not land, and Jaguars will be grabbing first place. Good job on Jaguars, the blue shell is gonna be coming, but it's not gonna hit the top three competitors anytime soon. 13 in third place. Really good stuff, consistent finishes from these racers, and overall, I mean, we're seeing a lot of these new competitors, they're coming out, they're racing well, it's just a matter of knowing these tracks and knowing when you're supposed to apply that drift, and they'll be good to go, because genuinely we're seeing them, they're fighting it out in that top six placement, and it's looking really good for them, they just gotta know the tracks a little bit better. True, true, uh, words I could not say better myself, my man, but... Everyone has to start off somewhere. If you haven't learned a track before, well, start learning. Learn about the different corners. Learn about some of the no-item shortcuts that you could be taking in order to surpass some of your other players, especially when it comes to online. That's probably your best training right there to see how to really utilize those shortcuts. Absolutely. And in the chat, we've got MK Momo in the chat. He said, Wave 3 SNS about to go crazy, and I totally do agree. Probably next week? Yes, absolutely next week. And the cool thing that we're doing here with the DLC tracks as we're going to Trainbow Road, as we're talking about the DLC mm -hmm. tracks, uh, the cool thing that we do here 
is that we play all eight new DLC tracks in the grand final. So if you want to see how to race on these tracks, how these pros do it, you can just come here, watch the stream, you know, come into the arena and really analyze how these great Mario Kart players do these new DLC tracks. And right now we are on the final race of qualifier number three. You can see Nasbeer is trying to climb up. This track benefits a lot of players in the back because of the coins they get to start off. And they should be having a higher speed than some of these other folks in the front. I totally do agree. And the drafting is huge, like you're seeing that Waluigi and Wario do, getting around the pack, getting that little bit of extra speed that's going to put them up in that top three spot. Jackie Wario is going to avoid the chain chomp. Grabs the double item box, is in first place. All right now, Jack Bar is doing the absolute best that he can. He's trying to stay within the top spot, taking these tight lines close to the wall. Why what is you he taking doing? so many pictures? What's going on? I do not know. Don't know. He just had to capture the beautiful track that like, is Rainbow like, Road. If you saw his face, he was confused. <laughs> like, uh, I'm hoping another controller wasn't connected? I, we can only hope, but it was looking like his drifts were looking fine. Dario going to get fired out, throws the red forward. Last lap. This is a sectional base track, so you're going to be seeing a new piece of the track with every single lap. Like we've seen so far, 13 now in fourth place. And he's got Piranha Plant, but it looks like a red's going to hit him. That Piranha Plant ain't going to protect him from the back, unfortunately. That's the like only should. problem. You should it? I think you should. To turn its entire neck off yeah. like that? I feel yeah. like it'll get your tires caught on to the head of the Piranha Plant. That would be kind of funny as well, as Jackie Wire is going to be the target of that blue shell. Immortal! Going to be able to grab first place. Jack Navarro's getting second place, followed by Ankles in third. Taking more pictures still. Don't know what he's doing there. He's going to be wasting that system memory <laughs> you're going to need for all that. I know, that's what I'm saying. You're, I, you know, I, I do not know what he has to capture. He's like, I don't know how to, you know, if you just hold that same button, you can get a video, which is worth 100 pictures. True. <laughs> it's like, what, frame by frame by frame. Yeah, that's by what he's doing. He's going to stop, you know, do the stop motion. How ankles got carded 2022 December. And we got the highlights of everything that transpired in this qualifier. So let's go ahead and throw up those highlights. Follow with Faye, unfortunately, getting stuck in the off road after, I can believe, losing a shroom. And then a moral man dodging this blue shell. Beautiful, beautiful item management there. Beautiful patience as well. Persian unfortunately took the wrong drift there, but it ended up working out for him. Oh. And then Immortal getting hit from a red from behind and in front. Faye using that bullet bill unfortunately could not handle the location that drops you off. And sometimes that just happens that the bullet bill just says, you know <laughs> what, I'm going to mess you up a little bit. That's a great comment. <laughs> ankles taking picture like he's part of the paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> no ankles. Don't join the paparazzi. That's not where you want to go. Where are you Why going? Not? What do you what you like the paparazzi, Vani? That depends. What are we doing? Paparazzi? <laughs> I mean, the paparazzi just always in your face, always taking pictures. I mean, I, I can admit them. they get personal often, but if controlled, I think it can be decent. All right, there you go, there you go. But still, a very decent showing from these racers. Very, very insane, nonstop action from this tournament. I love these smaller events because we see these top tier competitors already going at it. And sometimes that helps the underdogs take over those spots because they are just carting each other nonstop. And then you're going to be able to just go around that carnage and maybe grabbing something great. And we do have the scores for qualifier number three. So let's go ahead and throw those up there right now. We got Mortal Man in first place, followed by Jack Wars in second. And then you see a huge difference of a 12 point difference between second and third. Mario Party King in third, Phantom in fourth, Ankles in fifth. 13 and 6, Faye in 7. Look at those point souls. They're literally like not that far off. Dario in 8th, Geopower tied with 9th with Nasfury, TTA in 11th, and Persian Rising in last. 